Okay. Yep. Bye. Okay. Bye. Wow. She was chatty. <laughs> she didn't stop. <sighs> she has nobody to talk to. I'm the only person in her life who she trusts. I'm the only one. That's a lot of burden. <laughs> she doesn't have her brother, doesn't understand her, never had a good relationship. My sister has now distanced herself geographically and emotionally. Um, she's pushed everyone else away in her life. Not that she had that many people, so. She has to tell me all the good things that have happened in the last, like, five hours. So she's gone from down here, now she's up here. <laughs> she's chatty, won't stop talking about the good things. She's very impulsive like that. Like, this is the next best thing since sliced bread. We have to do that. I'm gonna do this. She used to drag me into that and I've been scarred or burned several times by her being like, you have to try this and I have no other choice. And now that I'm an adult, I have a choice and she doesn't do that anymore. But um, yeah, that is her impulsive nature. So I've now gone from, you know, Great, I got these texts. I was supposed to call her, she's where is she, to now she's like all the way up here and my emotions are just, you know. I was thinking today, if she really knew, if there was a way for her to know how much she's affected me, how much I've been, how much of a burden she is, how, how hard this has been for me, like, you know, if she only knew, <laughs> it's just, then would she stop? Would she leave me alone? Would she move, would she really get help and get the burden off of me? I don't know. But it's, it's just, uh...